Hi friends, welcome to our daily gospel reading and reflection. I am Father Rodrigo from Merino. Let's read the good news of today taken from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 15, starting in verse 29. At that time, Jesus walked by the Sea of Galilee, went up the mountain, and sat down there. Great crowds came to him, having with them the lame, the blind, the deformed, the mute, and many others. They placed them at his feet, and he cured them. The crowds were amazed when they saw the mute speaking, the deformed made whole, the lame walking, and the blind able to see, and they glorified the God of Israel. Jesus summoned his disciples and said, My heart is moved with pity for the crowd, for they have been with me now for three days and have nothing to eat. I do not want to send them away hungry for fear they may collapse on the way. The disciples said to him, Where could we ever get enough bread in this deserted place to satisfy such a crowd? Jesus said to them, How many loaves do you have? Seven, they replied, and a few fish. He ordered the crowd to sit down on the ground. Then he took the seven loaves and the fish, gave thanks, broke the loaves, and gave them to the disciples, who in turn gave them to the crowd. They all ate and were satisfied. They picked up the fragments left over, seven baskets full. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I want to share with you a prayer I found titled The Story of the Lost Hands that relates very well to this prayer. The story goes that one morning, as I knelt and prayed, I gazed at the statue of Christ in clay, and lo, to my dismay, he's got no arms and hands that sway. I searched around and searched from roof to ground, and even beyond, his wounded hands could not be found. So I turned to him and asked our Lord if it's a dream. Why in his glorious seat he seemed to be incomplete. Then kindly he replied, You are my hands. Heal the wounds of the afflicted. Care for the poor. Give hope to the helpless. Reach out to the weary. Clothe the naked. By doing this, my child, you will restore my hands. Don't forget to light the first candle of Advent wreath at home and say a prayer every day around it. Thank you for listening. See you tomorrow. Blessings. If you enjoyed today's gospel reading and reflection, please make sure that you subscribe wherever you're listening to podcasts. Also, if you know somebody who may find value in today's reading, please make sure that you share it with them. To learn more about how you can support the work that Mary Knoll does around the world, please visit us at MaryKnollSociety.org. And if you're interested in subscribing to our online magazine, please feel free to visit us at MaryKnollMagazine.org. Thank you once again for spending your time with us today, and God bless.